What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell back workout. We recommend having several weights available to you so that you can switch up the resistance depending on the movement. You'll also need a bench, box, or a step for one of the exercises. If you're ready to go, let's get started. Before we get started, let's begin with a warm up. Our first one is going to be a good morning plus a T rotation. So let's start with our feet hip width apart, our arms hanging down straight palms facing inward. For our good morning, we're going to hinge at our hips, driving our backside to the wall behind us, arms reaching down until our upper body gets parallel to the floor. Now T rotation with my right arm, keeping it straight, I'm gonna rotate as far as I can, keep my eyes on that arm, and then back down. Opposite side now, and then bring those hips forward and repeat. So hips back, right arm, rotate, back down, left arm, rotate, back down, and then hips forward. I want you to repeat. I want you to keep your core braced and tight throughout the whole move. And that's gonna be a theme throughout today. As we're working on our back, we wanna make sure that we keep our core tight and engaged to protect our lower back, as well as working on our abdominal muscles throughout. One more repetition, hips back, feel that stretch, full rotation, warming up that mid back and thoracic spine, standing up. All right, next up, we're gonna perform an arm hauler. So again, kind of a similar setup position here with our feet hip width apart, bending our knees. This time we're gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle. With my palms facing in and my thumbs up, I'm gonna press straight up, almost finishing with my biceps by my ears. And when I get those arms fully extended, I'm gonna twist so the thumbs are down and then big swimming movement. Press and then big swim with the thumbs down. So it's really trying to get as big of a full range of emotion, or not emotion, full range of motion, excuse me, as you can. Feel those shoulders stretch. Or pops. Or pop. If you're like me. A couple of little healthy pops, nothing <laughs> wrong with that. As long as that pop isn't associated with pain, it's That's nothing right. to be concerned about. Totally normal. Feel those lats engage as you pull those arms down to your side. Again, full range of motion here. And where are our lats exactly? That's that big muscle underneath your arms, big back muscle. We're gonna work on those today. That's right, warming them up right now with this move. Last five seconds. And two, one, zero. All right, shoulders and back. Oh wow, yeah. All feeling a little warm. Feeling good. Feeling spicy. And we're gonna get started with a superset. So we have two different exercises. We're gonna go back and forth between. For that first one, it's a three-point dumbbell row. And we are going to need that bench, box, or step, chair, whatever you have available to you. We're just gonna place our hand on it. So it just needs to be sturdy. And the only reason why I'm using a lower box is because I'm shorter. So yeah, and there's no difference in height here relative to our body height. And we're gonna need one dumbbell, and it's gonna be a heavier dumbbell. Depending on your strength, that weight is gonna vary, but a heavier dumbbell for you. We're gonna get set up with our feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna place my left hand on my box. Again, it could be a sturdy chair or a bench. My shoulders are square and parallel to the floor. Now, holding that dumbbell, I'm gonna pull back from the elbow Bring it all the way up and return 
back down. We're gonna do this together, 10 repetitions on each side. All right, if you're ready to go, let's begin. Again, every time that elbow leads the way, not pulling back from our hands, but instead from the elbow. And that's gonna ensure that we're engaging proper muscle groups. Core stays tight and braced, 360 bracing, pressing out around our whole core. Exhale as we bring the elbow up. Inhale as we come back down. And we're controlling that lowering phase. Here's our last repetition right here. Squeeze up top and back down. So as I mentioned, 10 repetitions on each side. So go ahead and just move on over to the other side. Ready and begin. Again, same move here. So ideally our upper back is parallel to the floor as we bend over here. And I like the analogy of pretending that we have a string attached to that elbow and that somebody's pulling back on that string. So just let that elbow lead the way. We're not looking for any rotation on this one, so no twisting. Shoulders stay parallel to the floor. Last repetition right here, number 10. And there's 10. Okay, so we're gonna <sighs> alternate this one with in dumbbell upright external rotation. We'll show you that move in a moment. But we need two lighter dumbbells, definitely much lighter than you were just using for that dumbbell row. And depending on your strength level, if you don't have light dumbbells, you can grab some water bottles or soup cans that might work for you on this one. So we're gonna get started with our elbows into our side. Let's bring those elbows up and we got a 90 degree angle. We're gonna pull back on the hands, rotating, and then bring them down so those upper arms are parallel to the floor. We're gonna do this one for 12 repetitions in total. Ready and begin. Slowly pulling back and then controlling that lowering phase. Again, doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of weight on this one to get our work in. Smaller muscle group than what you were just using. Exactly, that's on purpose. We're uh, going back and forth between two complementary muscle groups, but different muscle groups. This one's working our, our uh, rear deltoids and our, <laughs> uh, all the muscles associated with our rotator cuff, where the other one's working our lat muscles, our big, big back muscles. Three more to go. You're probably starting to feel it right about now. I am too. That's why my, I was twisting my words there for a moment because <laughs> I was feeling that burn. It was distracting me. Okay, there is one more. Here we go. Last one. And Exhale. that's 12 right there. Nice right. work. Okay, so go ahead and shake those arms loose for a moment. Going back and forth between our two different exercises, we can get our bench or chair set up. And we're going at a little bit of a relaxed pace here, and that's on purpose with a, right. a muscle building workout, a strength workout. We're shooting for between 30 to 60 seconds between each set. So if you're used to doing cardio or HIIT workouts where it's just bang, bang, well, this is a little bit different. We need that recovery time in between sets to perform our best and for best results. That's right, and if you are looking to build more muscle, make sure that you're consuming sufficient amounts of protein. Oh, that is definitely That's another the key. tip, because you can do these workouts all day long, but if you're not having a diet that supports it, that That's could be why. Point. Did you need a dumbbell? No, I was just gonna, I was just gonna <laughs> hang around and chat. She was, it was very important that we told you about the protein, <laughs> but equally important that we use a dumbbell. Hey, I that's suppose. my wheelhouse, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's get set up. We have 10 repetitions on the row. Ready and begin. Uh, 10 in total here, pulling back from that elbow. Again, inhaling as that dumbbell lowers and then exhaling, breathing out as we pull that dumbbell up. And we can switch up the weight as needed mm -hmm. here. If that first set was too easy, go heavier. First set was too difficult, lighten it up. For 10 repetitions, repetitions eight, nine, and 10 should really start to be a challenge. Okay, number 10 right here. There it is, all right, same move. 
switching opposite side here for this unilateral movement. Ooh, my back is really through. starting to feel it. All right, well, it must be working. All right, that's the goal here. Ready and begin. I'm gonna challenge you here because that's where change comes from. So don't be afraid, especially on this movement here, to pick up some heavier weights. And if you got through these two sets and it's just easy, well, I recommend you do them again with a heavier weight. That's right. And heavier weight is different for everybody depending on your strength level, fitness level, where and you are in number life. 10, right there. All right, let's switch it up. Moving back to that upright external rotation. Again, choosing a lighter weight, but one that's appropriate. You know, modifying that weight based on the result of the last set, right? So if it was too easy, up the weight. Too difficult, lower the weight. We have 12 repetitions on this one. Getting into our ready position here. Elbows are up, ready, and begin. Pulling back on those hands and then controlling that lowering phase. Great one to build bulletproof shoulders. Squeeze that upper back muscle. So good for posture as well. Very true. Those upper back muscles and rear delts just get like stretched throughout the day as we're sitting. We need to strengthen them to help us maintain that proper posture, that upright position. It's 12 in total. Two more to go, come on. Last one right here. Ah, there it is, there's 12. Nice work. We're gonna begin our next superset with a one, three tempo shrug. We're gonna need two dumbbells, heavier dumbbells for this one. So if you're not familiar with a shrug, there's not a large range of movement on this one. We're gonna have our dumbbells at our side. Good posture here. We're gonna bring our shoulders up, almost like we're trying to bring our shoulders to our ears and then control the way back down one, two, three. So that's that one, three tempo. So it's one second on the way up and then one, two, three seconds on the way back down. That's it. That's the move. That's the whole move. Yep. But it'll start to, it'll it'll start catch to feel up like to you. more, yeah, exactly than it looks if you haven't done it before. And then if you're standing in front of a mirror, you'll notice the cute faces you make. Oh so, yeah, ready? or our cute faces. We're doing this one for <laughs> 10 repetitions. Ready and begin. Again, good posture and then one, two, three, all the way down. Again, one second up and then one, two, three. On these slower tempo movements, they, you know, it gets really hard to just stick with it for the whole set, but I really encourage you to do so. This time under tension is really gonna help those muscles. It's where that strength is gonna come from as we're forcing those muscles to work and we're not just using momentum. Nice and controlled on the way down, that's right. This exercise is working our traps or trapezius muscles, that big upper back muscle by our ears. It's also gonna work our forearms, our grip, and biceps all at the same time. That's number nine, you have one more to go. There's 10 and then control it for one, two, Three. All right, so we're gonna alternate this one with a straight arm reverse fly, and we're gonna need two lighter dumbbells for this one. Again, if you're not familiar with the movement. Oh wait, lighter you said. Lighter, I would recommend lighter. Yes. We're going to start with our feet hip width apart, bending over on a 45 degree angle. Core is braced in tight here, don't have it loose. Core is bracing tight, shoulders are retracted, arms are straight, palms are facing each other. Now with straight arms, we're gonna pull those dumbbells back, squeeze our back, and then return them back down. We're doing this one for 12 repetitions in total. Did I mention you need lightweight for this one? Yes, lightweight. yes you did. Okay. Because we're bringing these arms parallel to the floor. Correct. Okay. And, and then controlling the way back down. So, okay, gotcha. No momentum here. Ready? and begin. Again, arms stay straight. 
An analogy I like on this one is pretend like somebody has their finger in the middle of your back and you're trying to pinch or squeeze their finger with your back muscles. This one's gonna work our traps, our rhomboids. Again, a lot of our little rotator cuff muscles. Ooh, thank goodness I dropped my weights. <laughs> and again, well, halfway if there. To, <laughs> if you need to, you can drop them more or you can adjust. If you went too light, feel free to make it heavier. But I want you to control the way up and the way down. So in those moves, it'd be much easier to swing the dumbbells up and then let them flop down. One more, right here. But we urge against that. And there's 12. <sighs> okay, so dumbbells are down, taking a little longer break here before we move into our next set of dumbbell shrugs. Again, choosing your weight appropriately. If you went too light last time, it was too easy, up that weight. And good posture. Anytime you're in these standing positions, just make sure that your pelvis is directly stacked underneath Show your ribcage. Show what rib that cage. looks like real quick, as we have 10 seconds. So tendency, we have a tendency to do this, right? We stick our, our booties behind us. Really, you wanna bring that pelvis and just make sure that it's lined up right underneath your rib cage for proper alignment. And we're doing this one for 10 repetitions as a reminder. Ready and begin. One second up, one. Two, three, controlling that way down. And as we mentioned, not only working those big trap muscles, but also working our grip, as well as our forearms. Very functional move here. You know, if you wanna make it into the house after going grocery shopping in just one trip, you get all the bags, <laughs> only doing one trip. This is a great <laughs> exercise for that. That's right. If you're like me, you don't wanna make multiple trips. Mm -mm. I'm a one trip kind of guy. Who has time for that? Halfway, right there. Getting stronger with every repetition here. Squeeze those traps up at the top and then control the way down. Here's number eight, two more. Maintaining proper breathing. Then inhaling on the way down. Exhaling as we come up. Number 10, nice work. All right, feeling good. Yes. Moving back to our lighter weights for that straight arm reverse dumbbell fly. And it's okay if you have to drop your weight a little bit. That's. And we, if these are new moves for you, then sure. you're learning which weight you should be using as you go. That's really just part of the educational process of strength training, understanding which weights are appropriate for you for which movement patterns. That's right. And then progressing them, trying to make sure you're progressing through your workout so you're not always using the same weight. All right, here we are, bending over, hinging at our, hinging at our hips, 45 degree angle, palms facing inward, ready and begin. As you bring those arms up, inhale as you bring them down. Squeeze that middle of the back at the top of every repetition. Nice work. And again, that time under tension, it's all under control. Not a cardio workout. We're not in this one for the speed. Squeeze that finger that somebody's holding in the middle of your back in between every repetition. Building that beautiful muscle. That's gonna help you live a long, healthy, strong life as you age. It's 12 in total, we're almost there. That's right, three more, come on. Here's okay. 10. Here we go, last two, starting to feel it now. Ooh yeah. Fighting through it. And 12 right here. Excellent. Let's get our next superset started with a combination move. It is a dumbbell RDL plus hang clean. We need two dumbbells, heavier dumbbells for this one. Compound exercise. Gonna work our posterior chain on this one. This is one of my favorites. Starting with our feet hip width apart and those dumbbells are facing us. So the dumbbell RDL is gonna be a hip hinge. So we're hinging at the hips, starting with a little bend in our knees, and then no more bend in the knees. As we drive our hips back, dumbbells come to about knee height, and now I'm gonna explode my hips forward as I bring my traps up, boom, and dumbbells come to a rack position. So one more time here, 
So I'm hinging at my hips, loading my hips, and now my hips come forward, traps come up into a shrug to bring those dumbbells up into a rack position. We're doing this one for 10 repetitions. If you haven't done it before, it's probably gonna take a couple reps to really get the feel for it. Here we are in three, two, one, begin. Back, stay straight on that lowering phase and then explode those hips up. Bust. Go ahead, you're gonna inhale on the way down, sorry about that. And then whew, exhale as you bring those hips forward and the dumbbells up to your chin. About two seconds on that lowering phase and then really explode on the way up. So bring them up really as fast as you can. Explosive power movement. It's a dumbbell in-home adaptation of that traditional hang clean barbell exercise. Here's number seven right here. Working all the same muscle groups, just with the convenience of dumbbells. Big power, that's it. 10 repetitions in total. Explode with those hips forward. Last one right here. And there's 10. Ooh, okay. That one does get your heart rate up. As we've done all day, we are going to alternate now with a more accessory back exercise. So this one is gonna be a dumbbell front trap raise. Again, we need light Lighter dumbbells weights. for this one. We're gonna do it for 12 repetitions in total. Again, we keep talking about bracing here. So bending over, hinging on that 45 degree angle, like a 360 brace, everything is tight. Like you're pressing out around your whole abdominal, whole core, not just out on your belly, out, but 360 out. Hinging at our hips, back is straight, 45. Now with our palms facing down, bring those dumbbells up until our biceps are about by your ears and then lower them back down. So our Ooh. traps are bringing them up. Man, we're gonna have a lot of trap work. A lot of trap by work. By the time it's said and done. Well, this is a back workout. They might wake you up in the middle of the night that might be a little sore. Hey, that's, hey at least we knew it worked. <laughs> 12 repetitions, let's do it together, folks. Ready, and begin. Bring them straight up, and then straight down. So we'll, uh, one second up, one, 1,000, one second down. Oh my goodness gracious. Back stays straight. We don't want any arch here. No rounding. And notice how we're both like looking, not just straight down, but not up either, right? So, cause we're keeping our head in line with our spine. Halfway point. So after you get the move from us, technically you really shouldn't be watching the screen right now. You know, if you got your TV mounted over a fireplace, you don't want to have your head cranked up looking at the screen while you're doing this. Here's number 10 right here. So be aware of your posture. Two more. 11, last one right here. Come on. Nice and controlled. Excellent. Good job. And if you're so done with that one, and if just in case you're wondering, yes, we are working our lower back today as well. Oh my goodness. Both of these moves are working our lower back muscles with these big spinal erector muscles in the back. And they're just as important to work as our upper back muscles. We need two dumbbells for that dumbbell RDL plus hang clean. A lot of people shy away from working out their lower back, but you know, just as well we work our abs, right? The front, we need to work our lower back muscles as well. That's right. <sighs> Helps us stay nice and injury free. That's right. Protecting ourselves, future proofing our bodies. That's right. I like that. Well, thank you. It's directly uh, from my book. <laughs> Stay Fit for Stay Life fit for by life. Joshua Kozak, available on Amazon. Or anywhere, any of your major bookstores. Or, book or anywhere fine books are sold. <laughs> <Fine. Okay. laughs> All right, feet are hip width apart. Good posture, RDL, here we go, begin. Down and then explode those hips forward. That's it, good posture. Shoulders are back and retracted on the way down. And then big power, bring them up. Again, if it's too easy. Increase your weight. If it's too difficult and you can't make it to 10 reps, decrease your weight. Come back, do this workout again, and try to increase your resistance that you use. Across the board, a little bit heavier next time. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. Big power, hips come forward. 
That's seven. Come on. Not much left. That's it. You got it. Come on. Getting stronger together. Ooh, last one right here. Ah, and there's 10. Nice All work. Right. So we can set these dumbbells down. And I say set them down because there's no way you should be using the same weight oh, no. for that hang clean as you're using oh, for a no. front trap raise. Most definitely not. So we get it, you know, some people, you know, you only have access to so many dumbbells, but it is a good investment to have a few pair or a pair of adjustable dumbbells. You're gonna get into strength training. It's just the tool that you need to do this. And the good thing is they don't expire. That's right. You know, they, you'll have these forever. They don't collect dust like maybe well, hopefully another not, piece of fitness hopefully equipment. Hopefully they're not collecting dust. <laughs> All right, front trap rack. You rate. can't use it at, to hang your clothes on, no, is what I'm true. saying. No, it doesn't make okay. your clothes rack like a uh, elliptical or a bike. All right, good straight back here. Ready and begin for 12 repetitions. Control, control, control. Name the game here. Exhale, bring those dumbbells up. Inhale as you bring them down. I mean, we get it. As it gets harder, you want to speed through it. But we're not in it just to get through it. We're in it for results. You showed up here today for a reason. Good time to think about it. What is it? What brought you here? What are your goals? Focusing on that why is going to get you through that burn. Get you through to the end of this workout. Here's number 10. You only have two more. That's it. Come, Come on. that way down. You got it, folks. Come on. Last one. Here's 12. Nice work. Nice. Our next superset is going to begin with a dumbbell elbowing out row. Two dumbbells needed. And if I were picking a weight for this one, I would say you want it to be a little lighter than that row that we did at the very beginning of today's workout. It's a more challenging movement pattern. So getting started with our feet hip width apart. Again, bending over on that 45. Back is nice and straight. Arms are hanging down in front of us. Now, instead of pulling back with our lats, I'm gonna pull my elbows up. Elbowing out row is what it's called, right? So they're pulling back, almost like I'm pulling towards my face. And so because of this movement pattern, we're engaging different muscles and we need a lighter weights for this one. It's gonna be 10 repetitions in total. Okay, here we, we are. We can do it, we can do it. Ready? Yep. And begin. So a lot of times we do what's called a face pull exercise with a band or a cable. But so it's a very similar movement pattern. Those elbows are coming out to our side. And again, it's like they're in line with our face here. Back stays straight. Don't use this as an excuse to arch around that back. And what about our wrists during this movement? Uh, so wrists are tight, locked and engaged. Not loosey goosey, that's for sure. Last one right here. And there's 10. I think that's a good reminder because sometimes I have a tendency to kind of, you know, right, you crank you your wrist a little bit. Yeah, you want it nice and in line with the elbow. Okay, so dumbbells are down. We don't need any weight for this next one. We're actually gonna move to the floor in a prone position. So on our front sides, our arms are gonna be out in front of us. We're gonna perform what's called a Pilates swimming. Our thumbs are going to be up. I'm going to bring uh, opposite right arm, left leg up, oh. and then set it down, left arm, right leg. There we go. It doesn't really matter which one you start with, technically. <laughs> and we're going to do this alternating right and left sides for 30 seconds in total. Ready and begin. For the arm, I want you to squeeze that upper back muscle. And for the leg, I want you to squeeze your glute. So alternating right and left. And speed for this one? Yeah, controlled pace. Not super slow, not super fast. Okay. Bring that arm up. Again, great upper back exercise. Great secondary, tertiary muscle groups. Oh, I'm feeling it in my lower back too. In my, the lower back as well. And then I say, that's why I say glute, squeeze your glutes. It'll help protect your lower back. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. All right, coming back up now. We're gonna do this one, as you probably could guess, 
one more time through. Choosing an appropriate weight for that dumbbell, elbowing out row. Again, if it was too easy, increase your resistance too hard, decrease it for 10 repetitions. That means eight, nine, and 10 should really start to feel like a challenge. You're able to complete it, but it's challenging. <sighs> okay, good posture here. Breaking out of the hips. Again, that 360 brace here. We don't wanna end up like this. Check yourself if you need to. Start working out in front of a mirror. Pulling towards your face, elbows are out. Ready, begin. Elbows are up for 10 in total. Again, notice how our heads aren't cranked up looking at the screen in front of us, but instead, almost like our gaze is kind of just out towards the floor in front of us. It allows us to keep our head in line with our spine. That's seven, come on. Elbows lead the way. Pull them back from those elbows, but they're coming out. And 10 right here. Excellent. Nice work. Whew. Okay, setting those down. One more set of that Pilates swimming here just to finish things off for the day. Put a nice little bow on it. That's right. That's Check it. Check it off the, our list. Down to the ground. Arms extended in front of us, head is relaxed. If I didn't have this microphone on, my head would probably just be relaxed on the floor. Ready and begin. Squeeze that glute and squeeze that upper back muscle at the same time on every repetition. Another great one here to help improve your posture. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath here. Exhale as you lift. You are almost there. Bum is up. Driving that glute up. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice work. And that's it, has for tribe. You made it? Made it. High five for you out there. I'm not gonna be able to pick up my kid later today with oh, this. Oh, that's just an excuse. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can check this one off your list. We're moving into a cool down now. This is the easy part, really. You're gonna show our body a little bit of love with some recovery work. First one is gonna be a posterior shoulder stretch. So we're gonna take our right hand, and if you have great flexibility, mobility, you can put it just behind your back. If you need to work on it a little bit, then you can actually just place it on your hip. You decide what's appropriate for you. With your opposite side hand now, I'm gonna reach back. You can either grab behind your tricep or your elbow, and we're going to gently pull it forward. This is a static stretch, so we're just gonna hold here on this one. With any static stretch, we wanna get to about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. We wanna feel a good stretch, but we don't wanna feel pain. For three, two, one, relax that shoulder. Other side now, same move. And you may find that one side is a little looser than the other, and that's all right. That's why we're doing the stretch. Wanna improve here. Even though this was a back workout, our shoulders did get a lot of work involved. Oh yeah, totally. So it's important that we show them a little bit of love at the end of today's routine. For five, four, three, two, one, relax. All right, for our next move, we are gonna move to the floor, so let's go ahead and do that. With our feet in front of us, we're gonna sit up straight, we're gonna perform a seated toe touch to cactus arm. So with our legs out in front of us and our knees down, so not up, we're going to reach towards our toes. Now it might be a toe touch for you, it might be an ankle touch, a shin touch, a knee touch. Touch whatever you can, stretching as far as you can. And then we're going to come up with our arms straight up into a cactus arm, bringing our chest forward, elbows and hands back, and then dive back down into that toe touch. So alternating between the two exercises here, back into that cactus arms. Good posture, pull back, opening up the chest, squeezing the back. And then open the back back up into that toe touch. 
You should be able to reach a little bit further with every rep, pulling back, opening up that posture oh. one last time here. Almost there, you got it. Big deep breaths and then open that chest up. <sighs> All right. You are and, done. And that is it. You are one step closer towards that goal. And did you know you can get even faster results by following a complete fitness program? That's right. On the HasFit app, we have programs for any fitness level and for any goal. And that HasFit app can be downloaded to any device. You can also help support us by stopping by our store, picking up a, sh a shirt or our diet guide to eating for life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.